welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you another method on how to install the knotless box braids it is so easy to achieve um, if you're new here please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification button so that you're always notified anytime i upload a new video let's jump right in to begin i'm going in with my eco styling gel and i'm just going to apply a little portion of that to this section of hair that I already went ahead to section out of camera. I'm applying this gel from the root to the tip and this just allows the hair to blend in well and also hide all of the stray hairs. And so I'm just going to go ahead and plant this hair like normal and I'm going to do this for about half an inch. Please excuse the state of my hair. I'm in the process of transitioning from my relaxed hair to, in, to my new growth and that's just why my hair is looking a hot mess right now so i'm just going to go in with my crochet pin and have the latches open here i'm going to pass the pin through the braided hair the halfway braided hair i'm going to grab some expressions here i'm going to pass the crochet needle into the middle part of the expressions hair Close the latchets and pull the hair through the knot. When that is done, I'm just going to remove the pin and pull out one end of the hair. And then I have three strands. That's two strands from the um, expressions hair and my hair that I braided out. So I'm just going to go in and continue plaiting like normal to do this for about a couple of strokes a couple of braids um, however you choose to call it before I start to feed in the um, expressions here again I'm going to be feeding the air from underneath the braid not the top of the braid I'm going to be feeding the air from underneath Okay, so I should say that the difference between this method and the first method is that you know you can actually control the thickness of your braid from the very beginning and what I mean is that when you're passing the hair through the crochet needle the thickness of the hair that you're passing through the crochet needle is very important because it determines how thick your braid is going to be and you would want the thickness of that braid to be the same as the hair that you have portioned out i don't know if that makes sense but once you start braiding you will you will see why i say that and so here again i'm feeding in the hair and i've noticed that you can feed in thick air in between um, the braids like this because it will definitely show where you start to feed in the, the braid if it's too thick but once it's thin enough and it can just blend in within the braid then that would just be perfect okay for the sake of clarity I'm going to repeat this process one more time and I'm trying, going to try to break it down as much as I can so that you understand the steps and the trick and tips to nailing this um, technique so here again I start by portioning out this section of hair that I want to braid and then I'm just going to apply some eco styling gel from the roots to the tip. This allows me to grab all the hair as much as I can and for the hair to just blend nicely together. I'm going to plait half an inch into the hair, grabbing as much hair as I can and try to make it as firm as possible but not too tight. You don't want that extra tension. going to pass the crochet needle into uh, or across the knot pass the expressions hair into the open latchet close the latchet pass the needle through the knot and remove just one end of the crochet hair then I'm going to plait with the three strands that I have I'm going to repeat this a couple of times before I start to feed in the thin hair. And so I start to feed in the 
expressions here from underneath the braid trying to make it as seamless as possible if you notice any knot you can always go back and unravel the braid and do it again the trick here is to always put the thickest hair first that way you can always control the thin hair that you are feeding into the braid and you just continue to braid like so until you're done with the entire hair but for me i did not braid the hair all the way through because i wanted to give it a goddess um, finish Forgive me, I forgot to mention that this is expressions in color 4 and I cut one pack into three sections and I used one and a half pack for the entire hair. Okay, so I'm finally done with the entire braid and I'm just going to be doing some extra thing to the ends of the hair and I'm, to do that I'm going to be using some flexi rods to give that um, goddess finish to the ends of my hair so I'm just going to take a portion of hair and I'm going to align them so that the curls line up perfectly I'm going to hold the flexi rod midway and begin to wind the hair around the flexi rod. It really doesn't matter clockwise and clockwise, it, you will end up with some beautiful curls at the end of the day. So I'm going to bend the top part of the flexi rod and bend the second part and give it a twist to lock the flexi rod in. That way the hair doesn't unravel. I'm just going to repeat this for the entire um, braid that I have on. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to be immersing it in some hot water. I'm going to let it sit for a couple of minutes until it's about cool before I unravel it. Okay, so once that is done, I'm going in again with my Eco Styling Gel and I will be taking a generous amount of that and I will be adding that to the tip of my hair and I'll be working my way into the braid. Following that up with the Tresemme mousse and I'm going to be applying this very generously from my scalp to my curls and this just helps to catch all of the stray hairs and helps my hair stay neat for longer. The 
last and final step that I do once my hair is fully dry is to go in with my Auntie Jackie's hair repair. I love this oil for a number of reasons and one of them is that it has a Jamaican castor oil in it. It also has the concentration nozzle so it makes it very easy to apply the oil to my parts and to get into all those hard areas especially when I have leaves on as well. If you haven't seen the first video that I made um, for the knotless box braids, I will be linking it in the description box below and also leave you a card up here somewhere so you can go and watch that and decide for yourself which method you like best. For me, I think I like this method better because it allows me to control the thickness and the texture of my braid. The best thing about the knotless box braid is that you can definitely style your hair immediately after you had the braids installed. It is so easy, so light and it does not leave any pain at all. It is very versatile and I like this one because it's very breezy, it's not too full. And that is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Comment, subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye guys.